Rahim, today is a first lecture on a forces and equilibrium, okay, and first chapter of our uh, mechanics. So let's start. We have one force acting here, okay, and I made a triangle. And someone asks you how to find adjacent angle is 30, force is 10 newtons. For example, 10 newtons. How to find this? Not a hard job. Adjacent by hypotenuse. Give you cos theta, and this one 10 goes there, so it becomes 10 cos. 30. I'm not writing a value, only this one. If someone asks you, yes please. If someone asks you how to find the opposite, so in front of the op angle is called opposite. All of you know. How to find opposite, opposite by hypotenuse will give you sine theta. Sine 30, because 30 angle. 10 multiplies there. So I got a 10 sine 30. Okay, now I'll make easy. Okay, for example, same concept. One here in the little trolley car trolley car like this and one person is pulling a force of a, for example this uh, 10 newton force and angle acting with the, with the xx 30 so how many force uh, how much force he will apply this way and this way I will make one dot and one parallel to x axis and one parallel to y axis and this 30 so I will make 30 a simple story where angle given is called cause component where angle not given is called sine component. I repeat again. So this is 10, cos 30 comes here, and here 10, sine 30. It means this component will pull the trolley forward, okay? And this component will not play a role in moving forward. So let's start. This we have a, a one, two, three, four. So force for a four force acting here. First force is acting along x-axis. For example, if I uh, push any, t uh, any, for example, I have a, um, uh, for anything, I push forward like this. So my full, full force will push forward, right? So E3 has no component. A force acting on x-axis and y-axis, no component breaking, no resolving components. Okay, but this has two component. One component of seven Newton force is parallel to x-axis and one parallel to y-axis. You can see here, this parallel to x, and this parallel to y. Okay, because this 30 given, so I will make this 30. You are, how come, sir? Because when two lines are forward for parallel, two forces are parallel to each other. If this angle, so this angle are equal, you know, corresponding angle. So, so I can say this is what this is angle given. I said before, angle given cos component angle. Sorry, angle given cos component angle not given sine. So similarly here, angle given, so this is called 7 cos 30, and not given, so 7 sin 30. I think you got idea. Similarly, I'll go for this component. It's one component parallel to x-axis, and one par component parallel to y-axis. Ask yourself, this 60 is here. So angle given, so cos, so how to write 8 cos 60, and here 8 sin 60. I think, okay, clear. Similarly, this component force has a 5 Newton angle 20 degree. So it has two components, one parallel to uh, uh, y-axis and one parallel to x-axis, right? So because angle is here acting, so I will make here 20. And here 20 means this is cos and there's no angle, so sine. So there's a 5 cos 20 and there's a 5 sine 20. I hope so this story is not hard. You got a components resolving so simple. Act, acting on x-axis, no component. Y-axis, no component. Okay, so um, so let's talk about Rx. So please take calculator and help me please in getting answers. But I will make clear to you right side, right side, and right side. I will take positive. 8 cos 60 plus 3 plus 7 sine 30 minus 5 sine 20 is giving Rx. And similarly, Ry. Okay, in the meantime, please type at least two boys this uh, value. Okay, similarly, R. Upward, downward. Yeah, please loudly. 8.789 Newtons. Similarly, someone give me Ry. And I just I'll explain how I got an Ry. So upward positive, downward this component, and downward this component negative. Right? Again, story. Right side positive, 
I, I just give you an idea. Right side x positive, left side uh, x negative, rx rx. Upward r y positive and downward r y negative. This is very clear. So you have given answer, please. Minus five point five six. Five point five six four. Five six four newtons. I hope so. Uh, correct. Same answer, right? Let's talk about after r, uh, getting r x. Look here, please. You got R X, correct. You got R Y, correct. After this, you will make this extra diagram. Look here, please, attentively. So this R X R Y. R X is positive. So from origin, you will make R X. R X is what? 8.789. Okay. From this corner, I will make R Y. R Y is negative, so I plot it downwards. If positive, I will make it upwards. So this is a 5.564. I will not take negative sign because direction is arrow mentioned. So this is called R. It's called Pythagoras theorem. I can apply Pythagoras theorem R square, R X square plus R Y square. Please take the root and give me answer. So 8.789 square and plus 5.564 square. Give me answer. You say what? 10.4 10 10 4 newtons. This is called the force. Okay. Uh, please give me tan inverse. So 5.564, 5.564 divided by adjacent. Please give me uh, the angle. 32.3. You said. Okay. Give me one favor. 360 minus 32.3. Give me answer. Points the seven seven with x axis. Hold on, hold on. Please concentrate here. Concentrate here. Okay. What is the direction? Direction is always start from positive x axis and move anti clockwise till line. This is called direction. So it means my angle is this is theta. This is theta. Theta is not the answer. Wrong. Always we have to answer. There are two styles to answer. Either you have to explain bearings, bearing you know with not, right? Or right, second option. For example, you say, sir, what, what is the bearing if, if, if we talk about bearing? So this is a my diagram, it's a triangle. So this is theta, and what is a 90 degree? So we can say that uh, what, what is bearing answer? You can say that 90 plus this one. So you got a three, so one uh, 122. So 122.3 with not. With not. Or so if you write with a anti-clockwise with x-axis, correct answer. Or you explain north. If you see the mark scheme, he write both answers. You wish you like bearing or you like with x-axis. Mostly you have two rules. Okay, I hope so. The idea is clear, but I just celebrate one more thing. Let's say Rx is positive. Look, Rx is positive, Ry is negative. So you've got a, this kind of triangle. You've got a, this kind of triangle, this kind of triangle. Okay, this is my answer. If Rx is positive, Rx is negative, y is, neg uh, y is this is the positive, this is negative. So my answer is from here to here. If Rx is a Rx is positive and y, R is for y negative, so my answer is this one. So every time start from x-axis till line is to stop.